Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. These Norskins are freezing as they are facing off against the Wood Elves in this matchup. We have the Norskins versus the Wood Elves. I am leading Norska, and the Grouch is leading the Wood Elves. For the Norskin forces today, we do have a lineup of Marauders for the front line, one of which being the Icehorn Marauders with their immune to psychology. We have two Marauder Berserkers, and we have Wolfric the Wanderer as the leadership for the Norskin forces. Uh, he is going to be bringing Hunter of Champions, Fight or Die, Seafang, and Foe Seeker. So he is going to be pretty much bringing his whole kit. Uh, we do also have the Shaman Sorcerer of Fire, who is going to be bringing Burning Head and Fireball uh, to kind of roast those pesky little trees that the Wood Elves will be bringing. And in the rear lines, we do have four Skin Wolves, a fantastic anti-large unit for the Norskins, which will do very well against Tree Men, Tree Kin, and the likes against the Wood Elves. Uh, for the rest of the forces, we do have two Marauder Horse Masters, uh, or actually have three Marauder Horse Masters, um, and they will do fairly well against any uh, potential skirmishing. Uh, they'll do much better than the horsemen. They have a much better leadership. And they will do a lot more damage than their counterparts. However, for the Wood Elves, what we have here for you to hear today is we have some Eternal Guard for the front line. We have five of which. And then we have a couple triads mixed in. Uh, with those eternal guards uh, for the rest of the forces we have some glade guards we do have five of which two of which being the star fire shafts doing a little bit of fire damage really good against any of the regenerating units that the norskins have so against the uh, skin wolves in particular we also have two tree kin as well to do very well as with holding the line and some war dancers as rice spears good anti-large armor piercing and if they can get on Wolfric, they will do quite a bit of damage. Uh, we do have a Glade Lord with Prey of Anathrema and Arrows of Kernis, as well as a Waystalker as well to mix things up. And off in the flank, we do have a Spellsinger Beast bringing Transformation of Kadan. Uh, looks like we also have Flock of Doom. And we also have Hands Impenetrable Pelt giving some nice physical resist and additional speed to those units. And that will wrap things up for the armies here for you all to today. And let's get this show going. We already had some Arrows of Kernis fire on into Wolfric the Wanderer. As now the armies will be approaching. It looks like Norska is going to look to overload the uh, Wood Elf left flank. As they are going to try and break that formation here. And then the Marauder Horsemen are looking to kind of screen out that Spellsinger Beast up on her eagle. Uh, get some nice shots in. And now these uh, Skin Wolves, they will be hunting for those Treekin. That is going to be their key targets. Both of those Skin Wolves are going to be targeting them. And then if that uh, Spellsinger does land, uh, they will also be looking to fire in on those targets but we do have some of the glade guards starting to fire into the marauders marauders don't have a whole lot of uh, armor but they do have shields the marauder berserkers on the other hand have no armor and no shields so that'll be a very nice target for those archers but the skin wolves have found their lovely target as we do have a burning head just roasting through this line of eternal guard through the dryads and into another unit of eternal guard it does arc a little bit away from the line so the uh, dryads and the second unit of eternal guards does fare fairly well and now wolfric will be wading into the mist with that burning head softening things up uh, giving a nice little bit of terror route into those eternal guards and we do have a sea fang ripping right on through these glade guards doing a ton of damage and wavering them outright we have some of the skin wolves uh, kind of peeling off a bit as the introduction of these eternal guard does force them to move away but these marauder horsemen continue to uh, screen out the spellsinger beast doing some very good skirmishing force uh, these two skin wolves doing good work against the treekin but wolfric has been um, locked down with a prey of anathrema and those Glade Guard are all focusing him down, doing a ton of damage. So that 
prey has finally uh, worn off, but another burning head is going to be cutting through these dryads and eternal guards. This one will not be bending out of the way, and it will absolutely roast those units. Wolfrock trying to get out of the way with Foe Seeker popped, trying to give that extra speed to get out of range of these dryads, kind of catch his breath, and here come those skin wolves for a nice little rear charge, breaking the dryads and these eternal guards, and they will continue to chase them off the field and the right flank of the Norskins, they do see a break of these eternal guards from the marauders and the berserkers berserkers will do very well against the infantry of the wood elves but now the skin wolves are engaged with the spell singer beast dropping on in with her, one of her summons the feral manticore and a few shots still raining in from the marauder berserkers but they are able to break at least one of the tree can the other tree can though coming in to assist and a flock of doom catching both of these skin wolves doing a little bit of damage but that spell singer will withdraw as she is wavering um, but these uh, Marauder Horsemasters are in hot pursuit. A nice charge by the Marauder Horsemen getting a charge into the Glade Guard and a nice rear charge then by the Skin Wolves and will be breaking those Glade Guard very, very quickly. Spellsinger trying to save them, but I think she is going to be a little late in that department as more Skin Wolves pile in and they will be quickly routing her as well. And things are looking very well for Norska in this particular matchup. Most of the flanks have been breaking, and these Marauders are pretty much all doing very well in health, terms of health. But we do have two of the Skin Wolves have been broken uh, by the Azrai Spears, uh, doing very good work against them. But another Burning Head trying to roast these Glade Guard, and they do move out of the way just in the nick of time. Um, but we still have the Horse Bastards circling around. Another Prey of Anathrema catching... Actually, it doesn't look like that did a whole lot. I, I think that may have been a little bit of a bug there, but the rest of the units um, quickly routing off that Glade Ward, shattering it, and actually taking him out, or taking her out in this particular case. And it does look like we have Wolfric has finally routed, but he is on a sliver of HP, not going to be doing a whole lot with us left, and the Wood Elves will be routed. Take a quick look at the after battle report. The Marauders doing fantastic work. These Icehorn Marauders getting 124, and these Marauder Berserkers getting 128. They will do fantastic work against pretty much all of the infantry of the Wood Elves. The Eternal Guard, especially the Dryads, uh, they really aren't going to be able to hold up against the onslaught of the Icehorns and the Berserkers. And the Horse Master is doing good work at screening out the Spellsinger in the early stages of that battle, keeping her out of the fight and unable to use her uh, eagle to the best of her ability. But we do have Wolfric got really isolated early on uh, with that Prey of Anathrema and the focus fire from all of these Glade Guard. They're no way stalkers, but with five units of Glade Guard, they're able to put quite the hurt onto Wolfric, and he was pretty much a non-factor in that battle, only getting off about one of the Sea Fangs. Uh, otherwise, he was quickly pushed out of the scene, but otherwise the uh, Skin Wolf is doing very good work. Uh, on the alternative, pretty much taking out these Shrieken very quickly. These Shrieken really should have stuck with the rest of the Eternal Guard. Had they been mixed in with them, those uh, Skin Wolves would not have been able to get on top of them. But it was a very good match, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. And as always, have a good one.